color sanded the uh, or you know water sanded the uh, side of the car that we're going to paint we're just about ready to paint the car we're getting really close uh, i am actually i don't think i have enough paint i'm i had bought uh half a gallon to start with but i primed the uh priming the bumpers and the fender and doing the inside of the where we where the where the body shop did their work i think i might be a little short so instead of getting you know starting the paint and you know they'll say better to have too much than not enough so we're getting ready to go to the to the paint store and uh get some paint and then we'll come back and hopefully we'll get to paint some of the car today or at least you know get it trim you know get trim over trim that out and get some paint on other places so follow along inside I'm not gonna film inside because I don't know these people that well I'll ask them you know for Nick for future reference um, you know once I got you know a good working relationship with all, all these people then you know saying hey you know I'm doing a blog or I'm doing a video log of what we do and you know I'd like for you to be a part of it that kind of thing so uh, let's go let's get our paint paint area while they're mixing paint which I understand uh, you know it's safety a safety reason so uh, you know maybe we can uh, you know get some other things together or find somebody else that'll mix paint for us and uh, we can kind of get a but anyway this is what we uh, this is what we bought today we just bought a little pint of the Omni Plus uh, base coat clear coat um, and uh, we're gonna Hope that that should that should be enough right there because that'll mix up to be a, that pine will mix up to be a, a quart so that should be fine. Other than that, see you back at the shop. concludes today's video thank you for watching backyard body works and stay tuned where on the next video where i double the size of my body shop